Hello, my lovely Libra. Welcome back to Fifi and Gigi's Tarot Readings. I hope you're all feeling fantastic. We're going kind of toward, you know, the end of this week. So I really hope that it's been just wonderful. I hope it's been marvelous for all of you. And there's always next week to start on a clean slate. Libra, let's get straight into it. Let's jump straight in. You know, I, I don't like to lose time. I like to get straight to the point. I'll clear the deck. Now, Libra, I want to talk about just very quickly um, this week's reading. And it's a topic where... And you probably already saw with the artwork that I did, the thumbnail. Um, it's something which I'm really not liking that's going on lately. Um, and it will be Libra, for those of you that resonate, if you've been romantically linked with someone either recently or in the past, if they ghosted you, they left a dusty trail or they went missing in action. So they went, you know, MIA or they blocked you. Or even if they gave you an excuse, yes, as to why they couldn't be with you and you knew it was BS. I want to find out what really happened. So you could be watching this reading out of curiosity, maybe confirmation, because you know really what happened. Um, you could be, as I said, you know, just curious. You want insight, clarity here. Um, I'm going to get straight to the bottom of this. Unfortunately, um, I have noticed that this seems to be a trend. I'm not saying you know with everyone, but I, I'm, I'm hearing that a lot of people are just they're getting blocked or they're leaving because apparently the grass is greener on the other side. When they get there, there's just concrete, old, broken concrete. And yeah, that, that it never works out. So, you know, I've had some people email me saying that loyalty doesn't exist anymore and all that. And they're blaming the rise of like, you know, um, online dating apps, social media and all that. But Libra, I'm still a firm believer that there are good people in this world, right? It may seem a little bit challenging as to where to find them. But let's talk about this. This is a really good reading, especially if you want closure. But let's see. Three more. Two more. Last one. I'm hearing a lot of you are thinking about your headspace, um, your mental health, and I think that's very good. Bottom of the deck. Oh, okay. Um, mm, why don't we just get straight to the point? We have the King of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy, but whoever you were dealing with, and I'm going to say it, they, they broke your heart because when someone goes to you, it's happened to me, it's not a nice feeling. We honestly feel like what's wrong with us. No, it's a lot to do with this person, the other person. Um, as a reminder, yes, they can be any star sign, any gender, but their energy here is uh, the King of Wands. Leo, we've got the line there, very, you know, literal. Aries, Sagittarius energy. This king is actually looking at you. Good for you to know this, Libra, that not all the kings, not all the queens take action, right? But the king and the queen of wands, you can sure as hell bet that they, they take action. They're the first to put their hand up. They want to take control of a situation. This is someone that, I have to say, they still find you very attractive. They're still quite passionate about you. They're thinking about you. In fact, they're looking straight at you right now. Why? What's behind this card? Oh, um, hmm. Okay, this is interesting. Ooh, this is interesting. Libra, I'm thinking here there might have been a third party. And your person was led by passion. Just when you're about to move on, <laughs> some of you already may have been with someone else, but... Um, we have the Six of Swords. Now, Six of Swords is Aquarius energy. This might have been also a long distance relationship, but there is a desire here. It's almost like they're fanning the flames of passion that they would, they're thinking about it. Yeah, they will take action though of moving into calmer waters with you. I think there's instant regret because the Six of Swords moves on and they take with them the lessons, the losses, the experiences, the challenges here, um, and they want to take it to calmer waters. Because we can see the storm is behind your person. And I want to repeat these same mistakes again. Now we've got the King of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Two kings. Interesting. Might be now that you have a new person and a past person coming into your life. With the difference here that this new person, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, has a good head on their shoulders. They're about home. They're about family. They've got money. Um, you know, that's, that's it is nice, right? And they want a new beginning with you. We've got the full Aries energy. It's the first card of the Major Arcana. It is unnumbered. And they're just going to wing it. This is someone that, believe it or not, is probably a lot more bolder than this past person. Now, they're just thinking, I want to move forward. And this person's like, oh, there's Libra. I want a new chance. 
we've got the moon pisces cancer energy now as a result because of i'm going to say sometimes it can be very traumatic you know we keep giving our heart to people and they keep trampling it so i can see that you do have a bit of fear of the unknown and that is you underwater you know internal fears internal anxieties i think that you still still have strong feelings for this person this person has piqued your curiosity here because the fool is very curious i think that some of you are still holding on to the past though four of pentacles could be with a capricorn any star sign remember here they might have put you in a third party the moon is often represented as a secret romance though if you don't know who this new person is, um, this is something that's very fresh. This is something that could even happen toward the end of the year, um, start of the year. There's only four months until the end of the year. That's actually nothing. That's not a lot. Now, let's talk about the current energies between you and this um, past person. King of Swords. Aquarius energy. We also have Libra and Gemini. Yeah, this is your ex. The queen and the king of swords are often portrayed as our ex. This could be someone that is separated, divorced, and the sword is on the side. So it's a progressive energy. It's not down and it's not up, but they're thinking about what to say to you before they take action. And obviously the hot topic is that they would like to move forward with you. Let's talk about you. Wow. You're moving on with or without this person because there is a saying that the world will move on with or without you. So I might as well do whatever it is that you want to do. You're in a good space right now. We've got the chariot cancer energy, but it's on your placement here. Some of you may be traveling. You want to see what else is out there. And I'm telling you right now, there's a king of pentacles. They're waiting for you. And they've got a good head on their shoulders. They're very mature here. And I can see also that it's like you and this past person, they're all about no nonsense. And I feel like they just want to get straight to the point. But some of you may have already moved on. There's a sense of victory here. Your past person, please. Yeah, they want to contact you. Page of Cups, Pisces energy. Could be a Cancer or a Scorpio. I think that's what's happened in the past is like, I'm sorry that I was immature because this often shows that there is that level of emotional immaturity. But now we're seeing a lot of kings. We've got three kings. So there is a lot of maturity now that's happened. Yes, there is an apology. Yes, we've got communication that is backed by love, filled by emotions. And yes, they would like a budding romance again to start on a clean slate. But are you too far gone though? Because you've got your sight sits on a lot of other things here. Fantastic, by the way. So what are they planning as part of this conversation? Page of Pentacles. Capricorn energy could be a Virgo, could be a Taurus. More pages I see. There might be children here involved. There might be an age difference as well. They've learned their lesson because that's the spirit. Sorry, that is the student card. So even though they've got this grown up energy, what they're showing to you is that there are small offers. Um, small messages, nothing grand, because it's like this is your person dancing around this relationship to see how are you going to respond. But this is the thing, there's no stopping you. Eventually here, they do want to see you face to face, though. I feel like they want to talk to you. They know that's the right thing to do. Mutual energies, please. So this is both of like what you're thinking and feeling and what they're thinking and feeling is the two of wands. Aries energy. You're looking out to the future. Look at that. This might, again, like I said, it could, be, could have been a long distance connection. Not that that matters. You know what to do. So does your person. We've left decision one to the side. We've got decision two. We're holding on to it. So again, I think you're curious. I think that both of you will be stepping into the unknown, taking that first leap of faith and meeting in the middle. I'm seeing here some um, communication discussion. But ultimately, let's get straight to the point. That's how I do my readings. What do they want? I mean, I know that they want you back. But let's hear it from the horse's mouth. Yep, judgment. Poor decisions on their part, Scorpio energy. It's a very, um, you know, poignant, you could say, illustration, you know. We've got the revival, the spirit's coming back out again. So what does that mean? It's a kind of resurrection, isn't it? Bringing something back to life, asking you perhaps even for a second chance. Now, a very good indicator for me as a reader after all these years, you know, it tells me, has someone changed? And if I see judgment, death, or the hermit, yes, they have. But in saying that doesn't mean that you have to take them back and feel like I'm thinking a lot of you are too far gone. Your perspective, your life has changed. Like there's no stopping you. You're on a roll here. You're, and I'm hearing some of you are planning a new business or a side, people call it hustle now. I was going to say side business, same thing. But um, yeah, that's what they're going to let you know. I'm back. Let me fix this. Oh God. All right. Now, let's talk about your hopes, your wishes, any concerns that you have. And there you are. Libra energy, regardless of gender. There we go, Libra energy. So we've got the power couple, yes, of communication, the queen and the king of swords. Even if it's a same-sex relationship, now is the time to talk 
face to face. And if you are at a distance, thank heavens, we have FaceTime, we've got Zoom, whatever means that you use. I see here that you are locking your heart away and you're like, hmm, I'll allow you to talk. And you're going to be analyzing everything that your person says and how they conduct themselves. I think there's going to, it's time to talk. Yep. It's time to get real, they're saying. That's my, your spirit team is saying. It's time to get real. It's time to get honest. Well, from them. In the near future, what's going to happen? We both come together. We have this conversation. How is it going to affect you? Oh, we have the most romantic night out of the, all the four nights. This is the most romantic night. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Interesting. Because we do have more apologies and we have reconciliation. And your person's going to make it pretty known to you, pretty evident with that message that they have not sent yet because everybody's is lying. All they have to do is get on their horse and come toward you so that they wish to re-spark this romance. That is interesting. I can't wait to clarify these cards. I just feel is that uh, at one point you were too much for this person. They were too immature. You have direction. You know what you wanted and their, their head was in the clouds. The outcome they're going to take charge. There's a lot of grown up energy here from your person. The emperor is Aries energy. It's the divine masculine and it's all of the kings wrapped up into one. And the emperor reminds me a lot of the king of wands as well. Look at that. They're holding a chess piece. They're going to make big, bold, strategic moves here toward you to win you back. So I have to admit it, they're, they're going to fight for this. They're not going to back down. They're going to make sure you accept those roses. In other words, split the deck. Oh my God, I split the deck. Hey, why not? We got the perfect match. The Emperor and the Empress. Aries, Taurus, and that's you, Libra Energy. Literally giving birth to this situation. That's the power couple of the Major Arcana. And Majors are a lot more powerful than any court card and any minor Arcana here. I think there was something to do with a level of emotional immaturity here from your person, thinking they can have their cake and eat it as well. Yep. And now, now they've really grown up. Now it's telling me they've changed. There's been an internal shift. There's been an epiphany happening here with your person. It's almost like at one point they thought it was all fun and games or they were not ready. Yeah. And now it's like, oh, okay. I left Libra and boy, was that a bad decision. We're going to get a deeper message here. I also really want to find out anything else that's been on in your person's life. Right, I'm just going to do two more. Sorry, my spirit team is saying two more. Yes, yeah, so I keep hearing that you are my light, you are my sun. So metaphorically, in other words, what they're trying to say is that you are the source of happiness. They're not finding it anywhere else. Four more. Three more. Oh, two more. Last one. Hmm. Yeah. I don't think they were honest. And I think you know that because this is a card of secrets, mysteries, even white lies that lead to very dangerous assumptions. Bottom of the deck. Oh, wow. You both come full circle. Taurus, Leo, Tor uh, sorry, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius and Scorpio energy. Again, there's some distance here between the both of you. I'm hearing your person's also moved locations. So they may have actually moved a bit further away from you, but that's not going to stop them. And I absolutely love this card. It's the last card of the Major Arcana telling me that both of you have gone through the worst of the worst. So you've gone through the devil, the hanged man, the tower. You've gone through all of it. So now both of you have come full circle. Yes, this is endings. So that is a thing of the past. But now uh, they want a brand new cycle with you. And that's where the fool comes in. Mm, your person's crying over the ending of this Scorpio energy. Mourning over the death of this connection, love lost, and they're looking down at all the regret. This is emotional regret here, feeling embarrassed, guilty, and ashamed of all these actions that they did. But there's still hope. There's a one cup for you and one cup for your person. And I also think there will be, actually, this is really good for you to know because a lot of people dismiss what's going on around the traditional rider weight illustration. We have a bridge there. And bridge is a meeting point too. So I see that they want to meet you. And they, you might think, no, they, they don't care about me. No, they do. Tarot doesn't lie. You are literally home to this person. Yeah, regret that they didn't invest in this. They pulled the plug. Seven of Pentacles, Taurus energy. And now they want to, but is it too late? They're going to make a quick decision here to approach you. 
That's the fastest moving knight, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We've got the king of um, swords twice. There they are. Now they're looking at you. I think it's going to be no nonsense. They're going to get straight to the point. They're going to let you know exactly why they just pulled the plug on this. Again, I think they weren't ready. They, uh, they were very immature here. They may have thought the grass was greener on the other side. It was like, oh, you know, I, I still want to, you know, date. I want to have fun here. But look at this. Look how... Look how the things change here that it's like, all right, it is what it is. I'm going to move forward. And life, the universe has forced your person to grow up. It's like, listen, and I believe this is what Buddha said, is that the problem is you think you have time. You don't, okay? Because the world is going to move on with or without them. So now they're growing up. Now they're taking charge and responsibility. And the king of swords came out twice. So they really want to talk to you. And they are... Clarified by the two of pentacles, Capricorn energy. Mm. So they're weighing up their options on how to approach you, choices, decisions. They do know that this will be your choice. So in a way, it does fall on your shoulders and they're hoping, promise, you know, crossing their fingers and toes that you'll say yes. But again, I think they're going to be honest that they were perhaps balancing you and something else or at least a lifestyle. It's like, yeah, I want to be with Libra, but I also want to have, like live the single life. No, grow up. And they're doing it. They have You've got all these kings and the emperor. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about you, the magician. I love that you're paving your own way. We've got the magician that is ruled by Gemini and Virgo energy here. So it's almost like I think you're kind of willing to hear them out because it's like they're presenting you with all the tools on the table now for a second chance, for a clean slate. I think both of you have been manifesting this. But you're not letting anyone stop you. You're still going to move on without them if they don't make a move. Um, but this is when we're manifesting harder. We're wishing harder. We're visualizing harder here as well. Yeah. Yeah, I think there could be a successful new chance here. This has to happen first, like to hear them out. And then, yes, you speak your mind. The Page of Cups. Now, we got an apology, but this is also messages. What's it about? Ooh. Wow, Ten of Pentacles, Virgo energy, that they want it all with you. Each single pentacle here represents a blessing that they know that they can bring you, that you can bring them. This is about stability, commitment, marriage, a home. You know, obviously the children are a blended family, the dog, the cat, family traditions. It's They recognize that this was indeed a very abundant connection, not just monetary, but as in love, loyalty, fun. It was just an abundant connection. They don't have that now. They don't have it with anyone else. Page of Pentacles. They want to see you face to face. And what do they want to propose? We've got the power couple again. Look at that. Remember, this is Taurus and you, Libra energy. They want to give birth to this. They want a second chance. Wow. This is, um, now they're serious. Now they've grown up. Now they're responsible. They're taking charge of their life. They want to take charge of this situation. In fact, the Empress here is the most abundant card and it appears that the empress is blessing this union or as i should say reunion maybe the two of wands please is clarified by the four of cups this is mutual energies cancer energy remember um i think both of you are missing each other we're both pining for each other we're longing for each other we're thinking of what was what could have been what is and no longer is of course but as they say as the old saying what's done is done and cannot be undone so we need to now start fresh learn the lessons don't repeat them again I think a lot of you are kind of mourning that this ship has sailed. And it's a shame because Libra, you did nothing wrong. This was all your person. But like I'm saying, they, are, they have grown up. It's like the universe is like grabbing them by the shoulders thinking, do you realize what you've done? Grow up and go and get Libra and which they have. Judgment, please, is clarified by the high priestess. Yeah, your person was not honest. Mm, no, they were showing you one face or telling you one thing but then probably telling their friends it's like no it's all right we can go out we can go to a nightclub we can go to a bar it's like no you're not single anymore <laughs> you know what i mean right um but there's poor decision and regret here which now they're suffering over it's catching up to them that they were not honest with you that they were being mysterious like i said white lies dangerous assumptions and just stuff that if, you, if they were not serious in the past it wouldn't have been good for them to tell you that right but it's she or he who knows. That's my quiet card. So they're going to be revealing everything to you. And there you, you're there thinking, mm -hmm. okay, I'm listening. Okay, and what, what else are you hiding from me? What else did you hide from me? Let's talk about you. Nine of Swords. That's Gemini energy. But this here represents hopes, wishes, and fears from the both of you. Now, I think I, there's a big concern here 
um, is that you don't want to make the wrong decision. It's like you need to see for yourself through action, something long term here, not in two weeks or a month, have they really changed? Now, this is originally called, you know, guilt seeks punishment or the Lord of punishment, but there is no one punishing this person. So Libra, please, I know it's easy for me to sit here and say this to you, but you are the one in this situation. Stop blaming yourself, please. It's like, why did I give my heart to this person? Oh my God, I'm going to be upset, you know, if I give my heart to them and they break it again into a bazillion pieces here. Um, was I not attractive enough? Was it? No, no, no. You've done nothing wrong. In fact, I can hear, it's almost like a spirit team is like trying to do this, like stop it, Libra. No. Okay. But a big fear that your person has is that you're going to say no, is that you're going to, you know, because sometimes the queen of swords can be very cold, you know, the walls are up. It's like, you know, she usually cut metaphorically, of course, cuts people's heads off. And then she's like, who was that? Was I supposed to do that? So Libra, you are definitely a forced to be reckoned with um, and now your person's just regretting it there's a lot of emotional and mental regret here the knight of cups please what's going to happen we got the fool again didn't now i must have already forgotten there goes my memory yet we got the fool twice so i do believe here that both of you are curious and will meet in the middle come to the edge yep they're going, to do, they're going to go it. They're going to wing it. They're going to bite the bullet. They know the risks involved. They know how much also with mental here. That's more mental stress. How they made you suffer here as well. Because it's not nice when someone just leaves you high and dry. We don't get that closure. Yes, we move on. But it's just a bit more challenging. Not impossible, but it's a bit more challenging. There could have been some lies and manipulation as well. That's, the, that's kind of like the shadow side of the magician. But I see both of you kind of meeting in the middle. Let's talk about the emperor. How are they feeling? What are they going to offer? Wow, they're really afraid, aren't they? Look at that. <laughs> From holding back, they're not going to anymore. And I say that because the Emperor is a major arcana and it's way more powerful, more impactful than a minor arcana, Gemini energy. So it's pretty evident your person has what? Guilty conscience. So they're trapped in their mind. Their ego is telling them the worst case scenario, even though they're still going to you know, jump for it. You know, they're still going to do it. Mm, it's like because of my lies, my immaturity here, you know, treating this like a game. Yeah, Libra might say no to me. Let me see one more. Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. This person really does love you. I think it's like slowly they're torturing themselves because now they realize what they lost. Let's see where you're leaning towards for the outcome, please. Mm, bottom of the deck, yep. Leo energy, we've officially left Leo season. Um, and there we go. That speaks of unconditional love. I think that you will be holding back just a bit because I feel like you're not sure. Um, but this is going to take time. And I think there we go. The King of Wands. I think you'll eventually take action toward them. Yeah, we got Pisces energy. That's you, the hangman. Um, even though you're Libra energy, I wanted to see where you're at. You're still unsure. You're trying to see things from different angles. Where are you going to lean towards? Yeah, Two of Cups. Anywhere between maybe three, I'm going to say from now until the end of the year. I want to be generous with the collective watching this with time. That's making a decision from the heart to come together. That's when we start mirroring each other emotionally almost 100%. It actually, the two of cups always says, you know, don't give up on those that we love just yet. Don't walk away just yet. Because I'm seeing there's going to be a very powerful conversation here between the both of you. Libra, I'm hearing that some of you might cry. Like it's like it's a bit triggering here. Because mentally, it's like there's so much going on in your head. And I feel like that's why I picked up that you, your mental health at the moment, you're really thinking about it. Um, it's your priority. And I think that's absolutely beautiful here. But it's, it, we got that gray area. You, your person from holding back, they're going to take action. And then it's like, I'm not sure. But then we go to, with our heart. And the strength cut is literally going from strength to strength, overcoming the issues of the past. Hmm. This is just big immaturity here. They treated it like a game. And now their spirit team did like a very beautiful spiritual slap in their face saying, grow up because you're losing time. And now they have all these kings, the emperor and the empress. Oh, my Lord. Libra, thank you so much for joining me. This is far from over. And here they come back to prove to you that they have grown up, that they're not going to waste your time anymore and that they absolutely do love you. Thank you for joining me. I will see you next Thursday with a brand new reading, fresh new topic, different set of cards. I always honor your time and I thank you for joining me. You're in control, so power to you. Bye.